Alright, welcome back to Mega Man X4 walkthrough. So today we'll be going through the snow base. And none other than... Take it away, announcer. You know, it's like, they want you to read the little dialogue, but he's in the way. So, this place has a lot of easter eggs, you might call them. So, this guy in the background, right here that I'm jumping around, I say he's from Mega Man X2, if I remember. Someone's gonna message saying, no, he's from 3, he's from 3. But I really want to say it's from 2. But, yeah. So, let's take... I'm gonna go this way first. Alright, we can see it. Use the fire. Guess what? We get another heart, heart tank. I almost keep saying heart container, but I know it's wrong. So now I'll show you the secret. Kind of like the secret area if you want to... Once we get our energy tanks, this is where pick up stuff, pick up life, pick up extra lives, and then if you do need an extra life, then you come down here. There's another. So this is like really convenient. So I need that form. Come on. There we go. Today I'm gonna go pick up. How? Uh, what is it called? Like all tired, alter, ash, ash, ashy, ashy. The alchemist of dusk. I'm just gonna call it that from now on. So. Could be looking forward to that walkthrough sometime soon. All right. So what you want to do now? Brain hop on this wall. This might be a little bit easier with X, but as you can see, we're playing at zero. So what you really need is just the double jump. So just kind of jump, jump around like that, and boom. So now that will start off with I want to see three lives. When you start out a new level, you'll start with three lives instead of... No, four lives. No, two. I can't remember. Big health tank. Just kind of slide down the wall. So this part, you need to be a little bit careful because... If you just fall like I do, you may have a tendency to fall through and die at the bottom because there is no floor. Alright. Oh, who's that standing right there? That's none other than Chill Penguin from the first Mega Man X game. Should have jumped. This is. This is the halfway boss is super easy. So yeah, if you don't want any trouble, just knock down all of them. Nice. Wow, he usually changes form. That's kind of weird. Zero rushing to the snow base area two. Alright. Now if you really wanted to get through these blocks fast, you just use just use your ability. But as you will see, I prefer just to spin slash everything. 
those bombs help a lot. Break through the ice. Alright. So you want to stick through the upper path right here? So you can get your weapon power tank. Which comes in more handy for X than Zero, but... 100% run, I have to grab it. Now that brings up some of the question for you guys. Do you have to... do I have to 100% everything? No. There's some games where I don't see the point in 100%ing. Percenting them. If it's just like, oh, you get some bonus concept art. I'm not gonna really be. Oh, see, I'll hurry and show you what they do. So they freeze everything, which makes it a little bit more difficult to get through. And if you hit those guys without breaking all their little ice needles, it will break. And you shoot needles out at you. But sorry, to get back to, will it be 100%? Sometimes. Like I said, if it's for concept art or something, I don't find worth it. But if it's like, okay, you need to get all certain things. I don't know why I'm using hand gestures. But say you need to get, a, like in Zelda, you have to get all the heart pieces to get health. So it's like, okay, I see that. Or in Ocarina of Time, to get the bigger on sword, you have to go through and do all of the little, all the little trading thing, which is considered is considered 100% completing, but I find it worth it because you actually get something in game for it. So that's gonna be if if it helps in game, I'll do the 100%. But if it's just for some bonus stuff on the side, I won't. What's that? A blonde kid up to? Alright, so he is weak to the fire. Obviously, he's Frost War Walrus, so he would be weak. But he is considerably easy even without the fire. I think when I was little, when I first played this when I was little when I when, we, when my family first got the our PlayStation 1, I think this was the first boss that I could actually fight. And that's without using the fire. Hadouken! Maybe like that's not right, man. I know. Boom, he is dead. Now we get our new... Seriously, she is in a barky mood today. I hope that's not getting picked up because I don't know how to edit just out certain sounds and... Um... What do you call it? Audacity. So down and special move button while jumping. A dive attack effective against surface enemies. Alright, so... That's the end of this this video so this is the LW mog see we even doesn't that look a lot nicer it's all filled up alright so I'm out later